Today I'm gonna teach you how to have fabulous hair like I always do on my vlog. You don't have to go to a salon and you can have those like Pamela Anderson-ish curls. All you need is a hair color, a good one. Preferably get something with ceramic coating on it. To tell whether that ceramic coating, right, get those that's not like silver in color. And if you want those like big luxurious curls, right, it's best to get something that's around this diameter. It's about like one inch lah. If you're expert at this, right, like with enough training, you can do it in like five to ten minutes. But if you're a newbie and your hair, you got a lot of hair, then I guess maybe twenty minutes. But be very careful not to like burn yourself. Like, a friend who like burned herself at the shin, right? And then never recovered for like I don't know how long man. And KK burnt her chin. <laughs> she had a mark here. I kept laughing at her for the longest time. Most hair curlers have this thing for you to put it on the table and not burn the table. Do not put it on cloth, plastic, whatever melts la yo. So step one. Wait for it to heat up, adjust it to the appropriate temperature. Okay, I'm gonna put it at 23. Basically, you divide your hair into two parts like this. And I always put it at the front like this. So, you just take out like a little bit of a strand from the back. I start from the back first, uh, you can start wherever you want. So, pull it out. Okay. I put this amount of hair into the curler. I twist it around one time and put it in like this. And then I pull. And then I make sure the ends are like all tucked in And then you sort of roll it up a bit So that you can get maximum amount and Then you wait for a while And then you find this thing and then you pick it up So this much is curled already The curled part right, just put it to the back Throw it at the back, okay Sometimes I wish that my thumb can be like a hair curler So if it's hot right, I can just like wind it around my finger like this and then it will curl but well hope for the future most people have like a wrong concept of how to do it and that's why their curls end up so shitty they get at the very end right then they curl like this and this gives a different kind of curl like the ends are almost like straight so it's, it's, it's like this uh, yeah I don't know how to describe that anyway it's gonna be like ugly I don't like it doing my way is better for me, the curls can last as long as like, I don't know, 3 or 4 days because I have shitty hair that's very dry and frizzy. If you have good quality hair, it probably won't last so long, huh? unfortunately for you. You can try to make your curls stay longer by putting mousse, I guess. But I think it's not a very good idea because it spoils the hair colour. Um, because the mousse gets stuck on the hair colour and it just looks really gross. I burn myself like a lot of times before, law. It's very sad, huh, no? It's just part of the experience man. You want your hair, you have to burn yourself. But I've learned to be really careful of this thing, so nowadays I don't really burn myself anymore. After you finish curling your hair and you put your hair back on your shoulder, it's kind of hot also, so you gotta be careful of that as well. But to me that's kind of tolerable so it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do half of my head first and then I can show you the difference between straight hair and voluminous curly hair. Yep, so now I'm done and as you can see, there's a big difference. One side is like cascading sexy curls and the other side is like uh, boring straight hair. So it's really easy to do, it just takes like 20 minutes I guess. And as a tip, if you want to like make the top part of your hair a little bit more voluminous, you can take a smaller curling tongue with like a smaller diameter and sort of tongue the top part as well. But right now I can't be bothered about it. Lah. So now both sides are done. You have to put in the diamond thing.